Oh, I don't know if I'm going to make it through. 9,000 feet on the Richardson. The Ernslaw Glacier. Look at that. Oh, I'm getting pretty tired of landing backwards. The man, the myth, the legend. Where's the pit vipers? Oh, you got a little protective case. You don't want to scratch your ten dollar pair of fake pit vipers. <laughs> Take the man out of Yorkshire, but <laughs> I don't think these would be approved in Yorkshire. Uh, so nah, you wouldn't get away with them. They wouldn't complement the flat cap all too well, would they? Are we doing an intro? Hello and welcome to another opportunity <laughs> to like, share, and subscribe. Oh, brilliant! That'll go at the front of the show. <laughs> Here we are on Covenant Peak, <laughs> but today we are paragliding. <laughs> How many times did you practice that in the mirror? <laughs> it's been a work in progress over the last 18 months. <laughs> We're flying that way today. Wind's Brilliant. coming from that direction. <laughs> I'm at Coronet Peak and the plan today is trying to fly a semi big triangle. So, gonna try and fly up and over the Richardson, and the first turn point will be somewhere in the Dart, and then second turn point in the East Matuki, and then back here again. So, the idea is about 150 kilometers, but that might be a bit ambitious, but you gotta set your hopes pretty high. Aim big, and if I hit 100, then that's good. But the first problem, as always, is getting away from Coronet Peak. So we'll see how it goes. Going over way lower than I would like. Hopefully this works. I couldn't get a climb off Green Gates. We'll see what happens. Uh, this is one of the lowest I've gone over. The glide's not too bad at the moment, but I'm going to come in quite low. Proper gaggle flying this. It was nice flying with some of the others, but unfortunately the day wasn't quite as good as we were expecting and some of them landed not long after. Do you want to be in my video, Marika? I've gotten as high as I can on Vanguard. It's seven, just short of 7,000 feet. And I'm making the crossing across the shot over. Hopefully have a nice glide. All right, all right, I'm on the ridge that leads up. I'm on the ridge that leads up to Silverhorn. And it's working pretty well. It's, uh, yeah, it's quite strong, actually. This ridge normally goes off, but I'll be looking to transition to the summit and then flying up the highway. I've arrived above Silverhorn. I've been sort of working my way up that ridge, hoping to get a climb above Silverhorn. I've got one of the best thermals of my life here before, so I'm hoping I'm gonna get the same again. Well, I'm pushing up the highway. I would prefer to be above the ridge. I don't really want to turn around, but I haven't got a climb here. That's the summit of Mount Aram. So nice up here. It's been bloody hard work actually, so I don't think this big old triangle is going to work out. 
This is a good place to get a bit of height before nipping through that saddle. Rory's behind me. I don't know what he's up to though. And Marika was behind me, but I don't know what she's doing either. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna make it through. Always feels like I'm not going to, but. And from experience, it's pretty rough coming through here, so I'm gonna hold on. Phew! Mount Aram, right there. Well, here we go. Oh, five meters a second, and I'm in the flood burn. There's Mount Aram. I had to work for this climb, but it's paid off. Eight and a half thousand feet. Got to be wary of the nine and a half thousand foot airspace here. But can't help but get as high as you can. I'll leave at nine grand, I think. Cool, so I'm at 9,000 feet on the Richardson and look at the views. If you like the video, hit the subscribe button, it really helps out. Oh, I'm arriving above Stair Peak, that is good news. That's Stair Peak just there. And Mount Earnslaw. Woo! So I'm gonna keep pushing north along the Richardson, I think. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do because I'm flying a lot slower than I would like because it was been hard. It's been quite hard work. Um, it's I've been flying for two hours and I'm nowhere near the first turn point. I'm abandoning triangle ideas. Uh, it's too much easterly up upstairs. Um, maybe it's possible, but I've decided I'm gonna I'm gonna go uh, try and fly up the east faces of uh, Mount Earnslaw instead. Yeah, so I did think that because I'm too running too slow and I'm not going to be able to go for the 150, that turn point would have been up in the dark. Um, so I was going to put another, the turn, move the turn point to Reef Saddle, which is just there, and then push east across to Roy's Peak. But at times I only had sort of 10k ground speed pushing east when I was up at eight and a half. So I'm not going to bother. And I'm just going to go and try and fly this way. on uh, the spur that leads to Lennox Pass and that's Mount Earnslaw just there. Um, pretty good glide actually. I um, had the wind behind me most of the way but I seem to have a little bit on the nose at the moment. And hopefully I can climb up here and go and fly around near Mount Earnslaw, that's the plan. And try not to land at the head of the valley because I'd prefer not to walk for a day. The Earnslaw Glacier, look at that. Woo! I'd love to get a climb here. Oh. Oh, that's Lennox Pass. And this is the spectacular Kia Basin. It's just down there. And look at all those waterfalls. Amazing. Wow. Such a cool perspective.
flying above them like this. And it's not working very well in the race, unfortunately, but I'm going to keep trudging along and just soak in the views. If I can't get up over Kier Basin or around the corner, then I'll probably turn around. I'd love to try and get up and into the dart and then fly around, but yeah, we'll see. I'm not, I'm not going to hit the that spur too low because it's, yeah. Wow. I've had a couple of cool flights from here before. We launched just over there. And I, I went up in a river climb. I wonder if I'll get one. Probably not, judging by the air further down the valley, but generally speaking, when you get further up the valleys, it does get a bit more on. So yeah, we'll see. of the Reese Valley or near enough anyway and that's the ridge that separates the Reese and the dart so I'd like to duck into the dart if I can get up there see how high this climb takes me but I'll likely just keep working up the ridge mm, quite hard work here I mean it's quite slow trying to get this climb so I can get over that ridge Need another thousand feet would be good. And I've started to think about potentially trying out and return. Tag this top peak and then try and fly home. That would be good. Bloody hard work it is flying south on the Richardson. It is hard work. Southerly valley wind here, it's kind of normal, I guess. Nailed! Oh, f four meters of sound just getting flushed off the side of the hill. For sake. Ah, oh, this is the end of the road. Good to make those cars at least. I'm the wrong side of the river. Oh, I'm getting pretty tired of landing backwards. Wow, I went from 5,000 feet to the valley floor in the space of about a minute. So it's quite a decent valley wind down here and flying south along the Richardsons in the afternoon is actually quite tricky because of the valley wind. But um, I just couldn't really get the climb to get over into the dark because I really wanted to come down the dark, um, which is probably better. But uh, yeah, I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. And then I tried to fly down the Richardson and then I got nailed, absolutely nailed. Um, just flushed out one of the valleys. Um, that must be some of the easterly from today, perhaps and then into the southerly valley wind. And I didn't even make Muddy Creek and I've landed on the wrong side of the river. But it was an amazing flight. Uh, I, yeah, it was hard work, um, an educational flight at the least. I flew over Mount Aram, which is always a treat. And I managed to fly up a, by Lennox Pass and over Kia Basin and, ah, oh, just spectacular, but uh, just nailed in the end, which, oh well, that is life.
you got to try these things the triangle didn't really go to plan because yeah it was just too hard the thermals weren't as good as i was expecting and they didn't go as high and they weren't as consistent and as strong so um that meant that i couldn't fly fast enough to get to first turn point in good time so by the time i got to the first turn point it was already halfway through the day and um yeah i didn't have enough uh time left to really finish it so then i decided to try and fly back and um yeah that didn't work so i just got nailed into the race <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna pack up and walk down the road and try and hitchhike back again but gotta love it in here though i do love the reese valley mm -hmm.